or someplace. Until you find a place that looks nice. I'm going to move it right around here. Okay. Escape a few times to get a lot of there. And let's look at the new turret. And that looks pretty nice. Alright, so now what we need to do here is to, if we want to do a more detailed and better way of patching up this gradient or the stroke on the right side, so, so that way it doesn't transform on when we convert it to a right half copy. Uh, we have a left half group here, so if we click this little icon down here, that makes a layer mask. And now what we want to do for the layer mask is just grab the marquee tool, rectangular marquee tool, and select a portion that's the gradient of the center of the uh, circle here. And just alt backspace, or command backspace, or control backspace. Now that adds it to a mask here. So whatever is black on the mask is invisible. Whatever white is on the mask is visible. Whatever is gray or anywhere between black and white is semi-visible. So if we go back and look at that, we have no gradient, we have no stroke in the center of our little guy here. And also, if we just want to do a complete copy, we do not care about changing our effects here later on, or if we will change our effects here later on, we're going to do that on the left side only. Delete the complete right half. Let's delete the player since we changed some stuff. Let's delete the patching up by dragging it down here to the trash can. Make a new layer. Layer. New layer. Let's call it right half. Go to image, apply image, and OK. Control T or Command T, right click, flip horizontal, and we have to move it in portion. Zoom in very close and find out the appropriate amount to appropriate location to move it into. Okay. So now our turret is further apart and if it turns out we have an invisible space here, so just move it a little bit closer. Alright. Now let's file new actually let's go to the layer new layer let's call it layer and let's do apply image again nope not calculations apply image and okay so now we have a full player again let's delete this one since we changed some effects do not save it let's go back to here and go to file new and let's make it very large since we do not know there you can go back to the canvas size on the ship but just to keep things simple let's make it like 500 or how about 2000 2000 so it's a very large document let's drag this over here and put the tab in the root of Photoshop. Now let's drag this below to the new document. So now we have our sprite here. Click the background, double click to unlock it, and then drag it down to delete it. Now let's go to image, trim, transparent pixels, top, bottom, left, right, okay. Now let's change the image size, and it should be locked let's change it to about 80 by 56 zoom in to 100 percent and let's see our new sprite in a black background 
So make a new layer, drag it below, and let's fill it with black. So that looks pretty good. Now you can't see the stroke too well because it's filled with black. But that looks pretty good. So that's the player sprite. I would uh, set the black to invisible, file, save for web and devices, set it as a PNG 24, transparency, and let's save it as the save it in the folder uh, where's the desktop save it in the resources images let's call it ship complete and this was a pretty long tutorial. It's the first graphics tutorial I did for the XNA Complete Game series, so the formatting is still being worked on, but hopefully it was good enough for an in the first introduction to Photoshop and introduction to how to make a sprite for a game. And it was a very simple sprite, so there was no detailed uh, effects going on in the sprite, like a detailed turret and additional grungy effects that made it look like an actual real ship. Uh, the PSD that will be provided in the zip folder or ISO, whichever one you downloaded, it will be different than the one we did here. I'm going to do some additional effects, so if you want to see what I did for the actual file itself, I'm going to spend about two hours adding additional effects, so you can look at the PSD and see what I did. And until then, we are doing the enemy player next, which is just a simple circle with a little uh, cutout of it and a little triangle as a turret. So it's going to be a little bit simple. I hope to see you next time.